Lawmakers holding a news conference earlier today discussing efforts to extend TPS to Venezuelans currently living in the United States. Local 10 News reporter Glenna Milberg is live in Durrell. She has reaction. What they have to say, Glenna? TPS, Christy, temporary protected status the U.S. affords to migrants from countries in crisis. Certainly supporters have been calling for that for Venezuelans here in the U.S. That's what they did here today. And for the first time, the opposition's ambassador, whom the U.S. supports, he appeared via video voicing that same thing. That's the ambassador for Venezuela's opposition leader, Juan Guaido, weighing in here via video as South Florida lawmakers call to cover Venezuelans in the U.S. with temporary protected status. There's no reason not to protect Venezuelans that are here. Even if the Maduro government fell tomorrow, they would still need to be protected here for a period of time. The coverage extended to migrants from countries crumbling under violence or natural catastrophe is the subject of a bill in Congress and, quote, under consideration by the Trump administration. And if they really want to help Venezuelans, that they have the perfect opportunity to provide TPS to thousands of Venezuelans that have fled violence and the worst humanitarian crisis in the hemisphere. Also, in this letter Saturday addressed to Southcom's command the ambassador Vecchio opened a door to, quote, strategic and operational planning, unquote, with the U.S. military, citing national security consequences for Venezuela and its neighbors, an apparent reference to Nicolas Maduro's allies, Cuba and Russia. The congresswomen here say they are waiting to hear details of a meeting between military. Is military option way down the line even in something you would consider? I believe so. I, I don't think that we're ready to to consider that because we haven't exhausted all diplomatic efforts. If you have been following the Venezuelan story, you've heard the phrase, all options are on the table repeatedly from everyone in the Trump administration driving the U.S. policy toward Venezuela. That is something that has been on the burner increasingly. And uh, even this weekend, Senator, Florida Senator Rick Scott is among those who have all but called for military intervention. Incidentally, he is in Columbia today. And that, according to his office, is on his agenda for discussions with Columbia's president as well. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Doral today, Local 10 News.